Hello friends, today I want to explain how to make a multi-stage wind generator. It is a special type of generator. Why we need multi-stage generator? If you if your requirement of voltage generation higher level, the number of coils and the number of turns are increased. If you increase the number of coils, the diameter of the stator is increased. That means the generator is bigger size. So in order to reduce the compactness of the generator, multi-stage generator is, you have, you have to select multi-stage. Suppose if you using 18 coils in a single stage, the size of the generator is higher size. And, uh, if you using three stages, the size of the generator is small and due to the multi-stage. Each stage has six kilometer and six coil. So that's why we are going to multi-stage generator. Look at the multi-stage generator. Okay. Here, this is the multi-stage generator. Each stage has 6 pole stator and 12 pole rotor. Okay, here look at the diagram. It is a 3 stage generator. Here look at this first stage, second stage, third stage. Each stage has 6 number of stator coils and so total number of coils required for 18 coils. So each stage has uh, 12 poles, rotor poles and the total number of magnets required 36 magnets. Here this is the single stage stator. The stator has 6 pole and the rotor has 12 poles. So if, if I add two more stage in a single mod generator, so the total number of poles are 36 and the number of stator coils required 18 okay this is the top view of the generator and is and this is the sectional front sectional view of the generator now here the winding connections of the multi-stage three-stage generator here this is uh, I have a linear linear uh, manner so that's why here the number of first stage here this is the first stage second stage third stage so the rectangle magnets are provided at the top and bottom and the middle uh, round magnets are provided here this is the stator winding uh, connected in series so and this is the second stage stator winding third stage if you want higher voltage the three stage windings are connected in series so so that you uh, you have to achieve 225 volt for the, using three stage if you want to increase the current capacity what what do you do so the three stage windings are connected parallel that's why the current capacity is increased okay <coughs> Here, if you if you if the stator has 18 poles, in a single stage the stator diameter is increased. That means the generator is bigger size. If you <coughs> if you using multi stage, each stage has only six pole, so three stage has 18 poles. So the motor size is very compact and small size. Okay. So another advantage is of the multi-stage, if you want higher voltage, the three windings are connected in series and get higher voltage. If you want higher current capacity, required capacity, the three stage windings are connected parallel. That's why the current is, current capacity is increased. Okay. These are the advantages of the multi-stage generator. Another, <coughs> some important points. 
while using the multi stage generator the stator coil and the rotor magnets are skip it some minimum distance okay otherwise what happens suppose if you if you provide the stator magnet closely and the coil are closely what happens the rot the magnet the rotor magnet flexors are engaged with the south pole and here yes, this is the neutral region so most of the flux not engaged with the coil that's why the lay the stator coils and the magnets some minimum distance okay if you using core the magnets and the coils to be provided closely otherwise you have to maintain some minimum distance so that's why the generator emf is <coughs> increase okay another points okay look at this i am using some i core that means a counter sunk room partially inserted so that's why what happens the most of the flux is attracted by the screws and the flux passes through the center of the coil the generator emf is increased 20% in without core okay if you using the <coughs> without core the generator voltage is 150 If you are using the I core counter sunk screw, the generator voltage is increased to 20 volts. That means 20% of voltage is increased. Okay. Another, <coughs> another some important points. When you are using multi-stage stator and rotor, the rotor poles and the coils are straightly provided. Otherwise, uh, the alignment should be important. Otherwise. the generator emf may be reduced okay these are the important points while while uh, making a multi stage generator okay thank you now take 6 inch length of 4 inch pvc pipe and mark 6 equal distance okay and uh, okay now i am going to make a hole both side of the marking okay okay let us start how to make a stator here this is a three stage multi stage stator this is the tube and cut in small pieces now i am going to insert the small pieces okay Here, the power bins are completed. That means eighteen coil power bins are completed. Now I am going to prepare winding. So here, the homemade multi-stage generator wind generator is assembled. Here, the stator has. here i insert the atom screw for the core in order to improve the generated emf here 18 number of screws are inserted in the coil okay now i am going to rotate the generator with the hand what is the generated emf okay here the emf is 
ಪಾ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ರನ್ ದ ಜನರೇಟರ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಡ್ರೈವ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಜನರೇಟರ್ ಇ ಎಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಜನರೇಟರ್ ಇ ಎಮ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಇ ಎಮ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ದ ಲೋಡ್ ಟಿ ಬ್ಲೈಟ್ ಲೋಡ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ರನ್ ದ ಜನ್ರೇಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಟಿ ಬ್ಲೈಟ್ ಲೋಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಐ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟೇಬ್ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ರೈಟ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ 